Welcome to July's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is plus one. Given a non-empty array of digits representing a non-negative integer, plus one to the integer. The digits are stored so that the most significant digit is at the head of the list, and each element contains a single digit. So that makes it a lot easier. You may assume the integer does not contain any leading zeros. So we'll never be given an input like 0, 1, 2, 3. So we we'll have, won't have to worry about that. Now, initially, you might think, this is easy. All we need to do is add 1 to the last element inside of our list. And that would work for these two test cases. Just add 1 to 1 here, and add 1 to 3 here, and uh, return the output. But what if the last number was a 9? The last number is a 9, then it becomes a 0, and we'll have to carry the 1 up to the next element. So we could write an al algorithm for that to do like basic arithmetic. But this is programming. There's probably an easier way. And the approach that I would take is, why not take this list of integers, convert, convert those into a string, recast those into an integer, and add one to that, then return that number as a representation of lists with integers. OK, so let's start coding this out. For each digit inside of our digits, we'll have to convert that into a string. Right, so we can just use the string method here. And I'm going to make it a one-liner to say this is going to be a list of strings for each digit. Now we can use the string join method to make that into a string. So this is going to be a string of these numbers. It'll be like 4321 or 123. But we'll have to reconvert that into an integer. And finally, we'll add one to that. So this will be our plus one integer that we calculate. Now all we need to do is return this as a list of integers, right? So to do that, remember that this is an integer. We'll have to recast that as a string. And for each digit inside this string, I guess we'll reconvert it into an integer and just make that into a list. So let's see if this works. We should get a 1, 2, 4. And it looks like it did. Just in case, let's just make sure that it works for an example like 9. And this should return 1, 3, 0. And it does. Let's go ahead and submit that. And there we go, accepted. So th this problem is logically pretty easy. It's more about knowing how to cast and uh, reconvert them back and join them into like different different you know variables um, so this is mostly like a casting question fairly simple though as far as the logic goes so thank you